So, how are you? How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you, Stuart? Nice to meet you. So, so. How are you, sir? Nice to meet you. Huh? We have a meeting here. We we do. Okay. Okay. Good morning, good ship. You were there? No, you. you were there. <laughs> Tengo que practicar. Welcome. Okay. Ambassador Moreno, Ambassador Pianetti. Likewise. Welcome. And my chief of staff. Yeah, how are you, buddy? Everybody's <laughs> got to have the chief of staff. Yeah, yeah that's a problem, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Come on in. Shaking hands? Yeah. Now they take the orders. Mo, mo. Muy bien. I talked to my dad. He said to say, looking forward to it. Oh, yes, I see. Thank you, sir, for those extraordinarily generous and kind remarks. And to say I'm happy to be here is an understatement. I want to salute uh, not only Colombia's ambassador to the United States, from whom we just heard, uh, but our ambassador, who you'll be hearing from later on, you have in Colombia, Mr. President, one of our very best, and uh, I hope you all will enjoy hearing from him uh, later on, as well as from uh, the Minister of Energy, Senor Valenzuela, Valenzuela who uh, is very knowledgeable. Before starting, uh, well, President Bush was talking about the history of my father being a former president. Remember me when I went to Heidelberg College in Tiffin, Ohio, to receive an honorary degree with uh, Malcolm Forbes Jr. And he, when he gave his speech, he said, "There's nothing wrong with nepotism as long as you keep it in the family." Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a great honor to be introduced. I've been introduced by. Former President George Bush, one of this century's great statesmen. As Ambassador already said, my country will never forget his support during the early part of this decade. President Bush was one of the first to acknowledge Colombia as a decided partner in the war against drugs. We will always remember him as a visionary with a great sense of history. I would also like to thank the Greater Houston Partnership for honoring Colombia in this year consular forum. Houston's outstanding diplomatic corps and the distinguished leadership of the Junior Chamber of Commerce have been key in highlighting my country's culture and business opportunities. I can think of no better place than the energy capital of the world with the most important players in the city business and energy sectors to have an open and honest discussion about Colombia. When I watch the global news or read the international press, I sometimes wonder if the country portrayed is the same one I have lived in all my life and was elected to govern. 
the press covers only a very small part of the story. There is another country, one you don't, you don't hear about that often, a country where people debate everything from political reform to elected power regulation, a country that responds to the dynamics of internal rates of return, weighted average cost of capital, and expected NPVs. Yet, this country rarely makes the seven o'clock news. And I am here today to tell it like it is about Colombia, with no nonsense, no denying the severity of our armed conflict and social unrest no runarounds regarding our economic situation, no false promises about the success of our peace process. Yet, I hope to be able to put our problems into perspective and introduce you to the country that you don't see that often on CNN. A society constructively debating its future, building pipelines, reforming its education system, starting new businesses, and above all, striving every day to overcome its difficulties.